Hello, YouTube. Well, I have another unboxing of a keyboard today. What's in the old great box of mysteries today? Bubble wrap, I see. So let's uh, pull it out and see what it is. Get your hands for this. Telephone. Anyway, what do we have here? Oh, a flying bubble wrap. <laughs> yes, it's another Dell keyboard. This time, it is a Dell model AT101W. The difference between the AT101, which is over here, and the AT and the AT&T, the AT101W, uh, is what you see here: Windows keys. These switches feel actually a, a little bit nicer than the ones on the AT101. That's odd. Feels... You know what? Yeah, it feels pretty much the same, actually. It's just that it's not quite as much of a... of a... tack attack. Tacka tacka tacka. When you uh, hit the keys on this particular one, I wanted a black one, so I bought a black one. And it is still PS2, so I can use it on older machines if I want, and my and I can use it on my i3 build. This is probably going to go on my main computer, since uh, after playing around with so many different keyboards, these Alp switches are definitely uh, my key switch of choice. I like Alp switches a lot, and that's probably what I'm going to be using for um, at least the near future. <laughs> I don't know about the late future. Now, supposedly these Dell keyboards were made in the early, or er, um, late 80s, early 90s, just like uh, most of the Model M's that you can get your hands on these days. So it's from around the same era. They have both have keyboard trays, and everything. And this one you can get with a Windows key. It's made in Malaysia. Which is kind of nice. And it still has that uh, cord thing, which I'm definitely going to make use of. So, there you have it, guys. That is the Dell, as an unboxing of the Dell AT101W. Now, my opinion on these out switch keyboards is they're excellent. I'm a very heavy handed typer. I hit the key. I don't, you know, gently touch it. I actually hit the key when I type. So that's my typing style. And Alp switches and buckling springs seem to work really well for that. Um, so it's a nice for me. Alps these black Alp slider switches are a nice compromise between uh, buckling spring and cherry switches. Cherry switches are very delicate feeling and very, very, very smooth and linear whereas these feel a little bit these feel a lot like cherry brown switches if I could compare them to any of the cherry switches they feel very similar to cherry brown switches um, but they're a little bit more you know rugged feeling than that and I like that it doesn't feel you know too delicate Buckling spring is very stiff and very tactile and very clicky. This is in between the two for me. So, you know, there you have it, guys. That's my opinion on these. I still think they're excellent keyboards, and I would recommend these to anybody. Um, and there you go, guys. Have a good one, everybody. Ciao.